Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop. In this video, I'm going to put a shape along a path. So let's jump into Photoshop and see how it's done. So here I am in Photoshop, and I've got my image all ready to go. Now, the idea here is that I want to show the flight path of an aeroplane. So let's go and make the aeroplane. I'm going to turn off all the visibility of all the other layers. Then I'm going to come over to my Custom Shape tool. Now, I know there's an aeroplane in there. In fact, there it is. It's already selected. But you can see it just here. Now, what I'm going to do is just draw this out. I'm going to hold down Shift to constrain its proportions. But you'll notice now it's at a slight angle. Now, I don't really want that. Although it doesn't make a great deal of difference later, I prefer to work with it with it straight up. So I'm going to press Control or Command T and then hold down Shift again, and then the rotation will jump nicely to it goes to the top. I'm going to click OK there, and I've got my shape all ready to go. Let's put a marquee around that. There we are. And let's define the shape. Edit and Define Pattern. I'm going to call this one Red Plane. There we go. And click OK. Now, I don't need the shape anymore. And I don't need the selection, so let's Control or Command D to get rid of that. And I'm going to turn on the visibility of my layers. Let's create a new layer. I'm going to call this one Planes. There we go. Now I need a path for my planes to go along. So I get my pen tool, and I'm going to make my airplane go from there to there. A nice curve. There we go. I'm happy with that. Right, now up to Edit and fill. Now, by default, it should look like this. But what I actually want to do is to come and click on Script. And you'll see that Place Along a Path is now available to me. You may also see Crossweave and Brick available as well. They're reasonably new. But Place Along a Path is what I'm after. My Custom Pattern, that should be in here. There it is, the red plane. I'm going to click off that and then click OK and a new dialog box appears. And you can see it's not quite as I'd like it. All right, let's sort out the color first of all. You may notice there's just slight differences, and that's being brought on by this slider. So uh, you can see the brightness there, and also there's a bit of color randomness as well. I can get rid of those. Let's straighten them up. And from that, I can use Angle from Path. So if I just turn this around, you can see that they're now beginning to turn. It's like they're in two different angles. If I do this distance from path, you can see that in fact, there's two instances and they alternate. I don't want that at all. So let's bring that down. Alternate patterns, if I click off that, now we've just got the one. And I can bring that around, now it's on the path. Now my spacing and my scale work nicely together. If I bring my scale down, I may want to bring my spacing up or even down a little bit, depending on how I feel. I'm going to bring this quite a way down. Although they look quite small here, they're going to be quite big on my image afterwards. OK, cool. Let's click OK. And sure enough, there we go. I've got my aeroplanes. Now, I can use these however I like. They're just like any other layer. Let's go and click off that path. Just like any other layer, I can add maybe a drop shadow to this. Let's pull out a drop shadow and size it up. And maybe bring down the opacity just a little bit as well. So there we go. As easy as that. I'm even going to give it a little bit of beveling emboss. Click OK. So there we go. I've added a custom shape to a path. It could have been anything I wanted. It could have been dots and dashes, maybe even scissors for a cutout coupon, anything you like. That's it. I'm Eric Renault. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. I'll see you again at tipsgrill.com very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.